how to use a sextant. In these instructions will help you learn how to use a sextant, specifically the sextant, although most of the instructions are general to all sextants. You will learn how to set up, sight, and read this device, as well as how to troubleshoot some common mistakes. Sextants were used before GPS to determine one's approximate location from any visible stellar object. Before you can you begin to use this device, it must be sighted in properly. There are many angles involved, and each one can significantly affect your reading. These steps will also allow you to get comfortable with holding and looking through the sextant. Step 1. Set the index bar to approximately the zero mark along the arc. The two zeros should be across from each other. Step 2. Tighten the clamp screw along the back side of the arc and adjust to zero using this screw. Three, pick up the section. There are two pegs and one bar on the opposite side of the arc from the telescope. Grasp the bar between the first finger and thumb of your right hand. Place the pad of your thumb over the near peg and your little or ring finger over the far peg, whichever is most comfortable. Step four, the telescope should look like this. Not like this. The telescope should be looking through the horizon mirror. Step five, adjust the horizon mirror until it is parallel with the index mirror. Step six, point the sextant at the horizon. Look through the telescope. The horizon should look like this, not like this. Adjust the horizon mirror until it looks like this. Your sextant is now set up and ready to use. To gain a basic understanding of how the sextant works, I'm going to tell you how to measure the height of an object, like a telephone pole, although you could use a building. You're going to need a sextant, a tape measure, and some trigonometry skills or a CAD program. The last two are interchangeable. Step one, take your tape measure and measure to nearly its maximum distance away from the base object you wish to find the height of. Don't try to measure to the maximum distance of the tape measure, you'll break it. Step two, stand beside the tape measure facing the object. Step four, write down the measurement on the tape measure at your toes. Step four. Take the sextant and, standing in the same spot you took your measurement from, look through the sextant at the base of the object. Step 6. While looking through the sextant, bring the index bar forward until the top of the object is visually at the same level as the bottom of the object. If you can't swing the index bar, loosen the clamp. It should look uh, approximately like this. Step 6. Look through the index bar at the arc. Write down the degrees at the point directly across from the zero on the index bar. If you can't read the numbers, try using the built-in magnifying glass. Step nine, use the tape measure to get a measurement of the height of your eye by placing the end of the tape measure against the ground and holding it in a straight vertical line. While looking straight forward, read the measurement right in front of your eye. Write that measurement down. Step 11, using trigonometry, determine the length of line D. Alternatively, you can just draw that in a CAD program and fill in the dimensions at the appropriate places.